and using the TR Inspire calculator to check your answers and to find and to find where two lines intersect and to find x and y intercepts. We're going to start with a warm up of some previous material. Um, so warm up time again. Find the x and y intercepts of the following. So notice that it's kind of like not in the regular gradient intercept form, but even if it was, this is a good way to do it. So you can kind of just start to set up the table. So x-intercept, y-intercept, x-intercept, y-intercept. Remember at the x-intercept, what's the value of y? Always, it's always equal to zero. At the y-intercept, what's the value of x? It's always equal to zero. Same for this other one. Uh, and then you just substitute y equals zero into the equation and solve for x. So with this, we substitute x equals zero into that equation to solve for y. So notice I'm both, I'll do them both at the same time if you want. I've just subbed in y equals zero. So when, um, you might want to actually just pause and try to solve it yourself first because you've probably done a few of these by now. So feel free to pause and solve and then just quickly check your answers afterwards. So pause now. So hopefully you've paused and you've tried it yourself first. And now you can check your working out. So hopefully you got 6, 0 for the x-intercept and 0, 6 for the y-intercept. And for the other graph, the other line, I hope you got 3, 0 for the x-intercept and 0, negative 6. If you didn't, you might want to pause and just look at my working out, my reasoning um, behind my answers uh, before you move on. Then you're asked to sketch these two lines by first plotting their x and y intercepts. So notice that I kind of did that. So let's scroll down so you can see the graph. So what I did for the first line, which I did in green, uh, first line I did in green, I plotted the x-intercept, so notice I plotted a point here, 6, 0. I plotted the y-intercept, 0, 6. And then I just drew a nice line through both of those. So I ruled a line through them. It's also a good idea to label your equation, you label your line. So this was the equation for that line, which as you can see, I got that from up here. That's where it came from. Then now I'm going to do this line in red. So 2y, the, um, sorry, the x-intercept was 3, 0. So here's my x-intercept. The y-intercept was 0, negative 6. And then I just drew a line through that. And I, as I said, a good idea to label your lines. That's important. So that's done. Now part B is done. Part C is just, hence, use your graph to find the coordinates of the points where the two lines intersect. So here's line 1, here's line 2. What are the coordinates of this point right here where they intersect? So what's its x-coordinate? That's right, it's 4. What's its y-coordinate? That's right, it's 2. So again, it's graphing method for finding the x, sorry, for finding the intersection point is pretty rough. So you write just, just down your answer 4, 2. If you want to put an arrow just pointing out where you got it from, that's OK too. So this is just a little recap on the graphing method. So you find the x and y intercepts of both lines, plot them, connect them up, and find the coordinates of where they cross. Now on this one, we're going to